hello guys hope you all are doing well so continuing with the last session in today's session we will work on configuring the gateway part for global protect vpn lab our topology remains the same as of last lecture if required you can uh, quickly have a look at diagram displayed here so we will start with doing gateway side of configuration so first piece of configuration that we need to do is create one gateway profile you can name uh, anything uh, here interface uh, next we need to select is the interface wherein the client will terminate to set up a vpn connection so in this case i am selecting eth 1.1 address type is ipv4 only and that's the ipv4 address configured there next one is authentication tab in this authentication tab you need to map the SSL TLS profile that you have already created next for client authentication in this case we are going to use local authentication so I will create uh, I will map a local authentication profile so I'll just name it local over here, local over here. and then the authentication profile that I will map over here is local next uh, piece of configuration that we need to do is configuring the tunnel settings in this case we will use the tunnel interface as tunnel triple line and we will enable IP sec if ipsec fails in this case it goes default to ssl next uh, we will uh, do config for this one so We'll just name it as config1. Criteria selection, we will keep it as any, any, right? Under authentication profile, we'll not do any cookie authentication. So we'll not mention anything there. IP pool we will give it from the same range where the tunnel interface is terminated so it would be in the same range split tunnel and all if required we can configure right so client ip pool settings network services depend on how, how is your internal external dns is required you can configure here and those are all the piece of configuration that we need to do on gateway side so just to repeat again we need to do a gateway profile map the interface where the agent is going to terminate to set up ipsec then under authentication we need to map a SSL profile that we have created so basically this SSL profile is the one that we have created here and on this SSL profile we have mapped this certificate which we have created for firewall one so if we go to here and check this is the certificate that we have created it is a self-signed certificate signed by our internal root ca right so that is the ssl tls profile 
that we have mapped there. Next piece is for client authentication as we are doing local authentication in this case we have uh, mapped authentication profile as local. Next is on agent we need to mention the tunnel on which uh, it is going to terminate so in this case I have created one tunnel that's triple nine it is having IP address of 200.1 and it's on security zone inside right so this tunnel interface we have mapped here we have enabled IPsec again if IPsec, fa uh, IPsec fails it will fall back to SSL in this case then under client setting we created one config uh, all these criteria we have allowed everything no uh, key authentication and certificate has been selected here on IP pool we have selected the IP address range that client will get once they set up a IPsec tunnel and this is the split tunnel configuration uh, uh, you need to do as per your requirement right so once that's done that is all the config we need to do will just to commit now cool now once the commit has been completed let's test the connectivity with firewall so let me go to my test machine so in this case this is my test machine so let me uh, click on connect now as you can see it's asking me to enter username and password I will enter the local username and password that I have created on firewall And you can see now that this global protect client has been connected under connection you can see it has been connected to site one firewall one with the local IP of uh, IP of 200.11 and that's the gateway IP right next way uh, another way to check is if you can come to gateway remote users you can see that the user has been connected if you want to log out you can click on log out here and the user gets logged out so this is all the global protect vpn lab that we have completed if you have any other uh, questions concern please do comment i will try to answer thank you for watching you have a good day bye thanks